Stay tuned. All right, guys. So make sure you before you get out there, you make sure your boat is in top-notch condition. Make sure your battery's charged. You have your poles loaded up. I even get my poles. You know, I even put the Dodgers and Flashers on the night before. Um, so make sure your boat, your life jackets, everything's in tip-top condition. Okay. So learn your location. That's the first thing I do is go on the internet, look at the lake that you want to fish, um, Google that lake, go on YouTube, watch videos about that lake. One thing I like to do is I like to go on Northwest Fishing Report and they will show a map of the lake and they will show you know where the deep spots are, where the channel is, they will show a lot of different valuable information right there. Also tell you the hot months that are good for fishing. Um, another thing is when you get to the lake, talk to people. And t to me, that is the most important thing I've done. Is while people are going back on the docks to go home, talk to them, ask them, how many did you catch? How deep were you? Um, hey, where'd you go? Um, that right there is gold. That right there will help you catch tons of fish. Okay, everybody, next thing you need to do is you need to get a trolling depth chart off the internet. Also, you could go to your favorite sports warehouse, wherever you get your tackle or whatever. Uh, most places will have it. Um, so what the trolling depth chart does is it will help you get to your desired depth without electronics or downriggers. Um, it basically, it tells you whatever weight you need to get, um, how far out you need to go and your trolling speed and it'll give you the depth of that so that way when you're out fishing you talk to some people who are catching a lot of fish you can ask them how deep they're at they'll say i'm catching them between 65 and 75 feet you can then look at your chart and put on the desired amount of weight and put your line out the distance and then troll certain speed and that will get you down close to where you want to be. It's not an exact science, but it'll get you hopefully close enough to catch some fish. What I'm doing is I'm just doing this typical slide. I'm putting three ounces on it today with a barrel weight right there and uh, running it down. Normal setup to a flasher, a dodger of your choice. And I'm running them down to uh, my lure. Then I'm putting some corn on it. And uh, so far we've got about uh, six fish in the cooler. We've been fishing for probably three hours or so. So I, I'm pretty happy with this setup. So you don't have to have downriggers. Uh, that's the setup that I would recommend using. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you have any questions or if I missed something, feel free to leave some comments below. Um, the rest of this video will just be some pictures and videos of some of the fish I caught that day. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like it. Please subscribe to this channel. Um, thank you guys. I'm not using a net today, guys. I'm uh, going to try to uh, uh, swap the boat method. Eat it. Nice one. That's a keeper. Well, we both have dinner now. Better. Better do the trip, dude, real fast. He does not want to be here. He's a big one. He's your biggest one. Yeah. You got you. Slacking him, but you can take that off.